Safi mtazamaji tuachane na masala ya siasa na uongozi sasa hivi tuangazie masala ya afya ya kekili na licha ya sola la afya ya kekili kwa sehemu ya maisha yetu ya kila siku bado baadhi yetu ushindwa kuwa huru na kujieleza kwa washauri ili kupita ama kupata usaidizi kwa kupata uh, kwa kupata usaidizi kwa usaidizi wa ushauri mtazamaji ni weradhi kwa njia ya simu pasipo kuonana ana kwa ana na mshauri imekuwa ni njia raisi ambayo imewasaidia watu wengi kufikia sasa mwanabari wetu Fatma Ngwena alitembelea afisi za Kenya Red Cross Emergency Operation Center na kutondelea taarifa ifuatayo Afya ya kiakili inajumlisha mawazo yetu ya kisaikolojia na ustawi wetu katika jamii. Afya ya kiakili pia inaathiri jinsi mtu anavyofikiria, anavyohisi na anavyofanya matendo yake. Vile vile pia inasaidia katika maamuzi, mahusiano baina ya watu na jinsi ya kuhimili msongo wa mawazo. Hivyo kupelekea swala zima la afya ya kiakili kwa muhimu maishani mwa binadamu. Mental health is uh, any condition that affects uh, somebody's moods, behaviors and thoughts. Now you find that uh, some of these conditions can be in form of depression, anxiety, uh, and you find that when it affects your moods, and it affects your thoughts and your behavior, it becomes a mental health condition. Licha ya umuhimu wa swala hili maishani, imekuwa changamoto kwa wengi kuwa huru katika kujeleza kwa shauri ili kupata usaidizi ufao. Na hivyo kuwepo kwa vituo vya kutoa ushauri kwa watu wanaopitia msongo wa mawazo kwa njia ya simu kumesaidia pakubwa. Depressive feelings. Kenya Red Cross Emergency Operations Center ni baadhi ya mashirika yaliyojitolea kutumia njia hii kuwasaidia watu wanaopitia jinamizi la msongo wa mawazo. So, uh, according to me features of a good call center, a call center needs to have adequate space, uh, good sound regulation. Uh, so that the caller can be able to feel confidential. Another thing, uh, we need to have uh, good contact management using the proper data management system. We need to have integration between uh, the computer and the telephone that usually offer uh, the services. Another thing we need to have is uh, automatic, you know, response, interactive response. When a caller calls, you know there is something that the software that directs them uh, towards us now ofisi hii ya kutoa ushauri kwa njia ya simu imekuwa ikifanya kazi hii kwa kushirikiana na wizara ya afya hususan wakati huu wa janga la corona huku tayari wakiweza kuwafikia wengi kupitia nambari yao ya simu ya dharura ya 1199 and we are a team sometimes we have even uh, three counselors per shift maybe even four so when a counselor is on on session and a call comes in the caller will be received they'll be write the detail down and then they'll forward it to the counselor after they are done with the, uh, with the with the with the session and then after making a follow up to the client so it can affect anybody from any gender and it also cuts across all age bracket because we've had of even children who have uh, mental health conditions we have people as old as even 70 years old so i can say that uh, doesn't distinguish but... kulingana na evans delizu ambaye ni mshauri katika kituo hiki anasema licha ya kuwa swala la msongo wa mawazo halichagui umri wala jinsia asilimia kubwa ya wanawake ndio wanaoathirika na tatizo la msongo wa mawazo kuliko wale wa jinsia ya kiume afya haina kima na afya bora inajumlisha afya bora ya kiakili fatma ngwena switch tv